welcome back to my channel my name is Danny, and thank you guys so much for tuning into this video now y'all have been at my neck and my throat and my everything asking for this video every time i post a picture every time i post a little sneaky on my fire i'm saying a little ooh ooh y'all like what's the workout routine what do you do what do you eat like what do you how do you breathe i'm like you know, I'm like, okay, I got y'all, I got y'all. I couldn't answer, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes answering DMs was a lot, so I was like, let me just make a full, concise video that everyone can refer to, to get information from. Now, if y'all ask me, I'ma send y'all the link to this video, period. It's the best way. But no, all jokes aside, I am super, super, super excited to film this video. I hope that it's helpful to a lot of people out there who are just trying to gain knowledge to just kind of figure out where to start. I think the biggest thing is just starting. After you're able to start, you can really take off like a rocket. This video is basically going to be a concise video mapping out my entire workout journey, fitness journey, whatever you want to call it, wellness journey. I need to make it very clear though that I'm not a professional. I'm just a human being who took interest in living a more holistic life, a more active lifestyle. So I'm going to be chatting a lot in this video, so definitely check the timestamps in the description box uh, for different portions that you might be interested in. I'm first going to start off discussing my like background and like how I took interest in fitness. And then I'll discuss my workouts and what I've been doing to maintain my health and maintain my body. And I'll also discuss what I eat. And then the last portion will basically be advice, okay? So that's kind of like the breakdown. Like I said, check the description box for timestamps and that'll better assist you so you can get right into whatever part you want to get into. Hopefully watch the whole video though because it's all full of knowledge, but I know some of y'all be just trying to get the knowledge and go. So hopefully that's helpful to you. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So when it comes to my fitness journey and how it all got started in general, um, I've always had a curvy physique. It runs in my family, so I just kind of adhered to that. And as a result, the curves are already there. It just like, you know, depending if I ate a lot or ate too little, you would see them more or you would see them less. In high school, I did not work out at all. I was more on the creative side of things. So I was probably around like the 140 mark or so. Um, not that weight really matters, but that's just to give you guys an idea. So as a result, my workout and fitness and wellness journey really began when I was in college I'd say my junior year um, I was at my heaviest I was probably 175 and because like I said I'm curvy the weight did not really sit on my body too well and I just felt like it was time for me to change and yeah so that's kind of like the map out of it my workout journey began junior year I kind of would work out maybe two or three times a week then and then senior was when I worked out the most I'd say probably five times a week or so four or five times a week fast forward graduated college Got a full-time job, didn't have time to work out as much or prioritize my fitness. I would just kind of eat what I could eat when I could eat it. And yeah, so then the pandemic came and the pandemic was really what did it for me, really what sparked my interest in um, taking care of myself again altogether. I just told myself, I was like, you like working out, like it's something that you enjoy doing and you know you enjoy doing it, so let's prioritize it now that you have the time. Because my excuse before was I didn't have time. So now that I have all the time to be at home to just kind of focus on this after work, right? That's exactly what I did. I just went and bought the weights that I could. Y'all know during the pandemic, everything was sold out. So I just went to my local Walmart, got like a couple plates that were there. I think like a 10 pound, a 25 pound plate. And I would just incorporate that in all my workouts. And so yeah, during the pandemic, I probably worked out like five times a week. I would say because I had one, nothing else to do. Two, it was just something I was just like, I want to gain. I want to become stronger. I want to change my body. I want to get back to kind of where I was, but better, right? and that's where my workout journey really took off um so yeah it's been basically like a year and a half i would say now and that's kind of where and going i've been basically going hard for a year and a half and that's where i've been seeing a lot of my results and this is why i'm able to share the knowledge with you guys now because yeah um, and so that's basically the background of everything um now we're going to talk about the workouts that i utilized that really assisted me throughout the whole process especially while i was at home with little to no equipment during the pandemic and yeah i actually recorded a few clips of my workout routine a quick one that y'all you guys could utilize so i'll include clips of that in this portion as well i actually recorded it back in the summer like two months ago almost but it's still useful so hope you guys utilize that to the best of your advantage
I was able to kind of pick and choose the workouts that I utilized was because I followed a few personal trainers on Instagram. I'll either link them on the screen and put their links in the bio. Um, after I decided I want to do this for real and kind of build muscle or change my body in the way that I wanted to, I just really focused on my form when I was doing different exercises. I focused on targeting different body parts and just really being more knowledgeable in how I was going about my journey. At first, like I said, it was kind of for fun, but after a while, um, when gyms opened back up specifically, I was like, okay, let me actually try to do this for breath. I was like, let me just get educated so I can maximize my ability to change my body, you know, maximize just the whole process as a whole and maximize how it affected me. And I think that's why this year I was able to see so many more changes. Um, like I said, I'll try to include different clips, different all of that throughout the video. But as I also mentioned before, I didn't, I don't really take many progress pictures, progress videos. I just kind of take videos as I go. But hopefully this does help you to see a change in like my body. So you can see how different decisions I've made affect my overall results. Okay. So yeah, so I followed these personal trainers. Uh, they would post different workouts. And so I would follow their workouts or their workout plans according to, you know, different body that I was targeting. I would do legs more than arms. Um, as you can see, my arms are not the strongest part of my body, but you also see that my legs are pretty toned, mostly because I love, I love, I love, I love, I love leg workouts. I don't know what they do for me. They just make me feel so strong. And the thing about leg workouts too is like a lot of it, in a way, can be a full body workout. So let's say when you were squat, you squat, right? You have weights on your back. So technically it's like a back workout, a lower body workout, like kind of targeting multiple parts of your body. And it can even be an ab workout if you do it correctly. So I think that's why I enjoyed legs because I knew that in a way I'd be able to target multiple parts of my body in one, like a sitting or one day, right? So yeah, I basically did legs three times a week and then um, arms maybe once or twice a week or I would do arms once a week and then full body uh, another day of the week. So that's kind of what I was doing um, and just following these personal trainers, just kind of acquiring different knowledge in different ways. Uh, TikTok helped a lot. Let me tell y'all, TikTok, y'all already know. Y'all know what's good with TikTok. Like TikTok is really a university. Like they should start giving out degrees, handing out degrees. These people are professors teaching. Obviously, not everyone is knowledgeable in the information they're giving out, but you know, take it with a grain of salt. Like, if you, you see a workout, you hear something from a trainer, maybe do some research and see, and then try it out. You never know how that's gonna affect you. So I think for me also, I was just open to trying different things out and seeing how they affected me. It was the journey for me. Like the journey itself was rewarding because I it's something I wanted. I was intentionally trying to figure out different things that would work for me. Um, and I need to make it clear that this is all a marathon, it's not a sprint. There's no race to get to the end goal, whatever that may be for you. The goal is to just be strong, healthy, active, and live a life of longevity, okay? Those are my goals and that's what pushed me. And also because working out was a mental release for me, it's basically therapy for me. So that's what pushed me throughout my journey. So that's basically how I picked and chose what workouts to do. Uh, following personal trainers, today. following their guides, just kind of doing research on my own and looking for new workouts to target different body parts and using different resources like I said, TikTok, YouTube, all of that, just doing a lot of research. So that's basically what the workout portion was like for me. And now we're going to move on to the food and the eating and the dietary portion of everything because y'all know you can do all that work in the gym, but if you're not eating correctly, if you're not eating enough, if you're not eating, if you're eating too little, you will not get the results that you want. I promise you. And I, I didn't really understand what that meant for me until I started actually going ham. Um, the thing about it is if you eat too little, you will not get the results you want. If you're trying to build muscle and you're not eating enough, you will literally be in the gym five times a week and you won't see any results. Eat the good stuff, the carbs, the grains, get the protein in, you know what I mean? So different things that worked for me included exploring different dietary patterns as a whole. Um, like I said, I had that friend who was vegan and being exposed to veganism, directly just taught me to get my vegetable intake in and eat and be just be more intentional with what i was putting in my body i actually did go vegan for about three months or so that period i felt the healthiest i ever felt but mm, i love me some chicken i do i love me some chicken i really do i love me i do it's the chicken for me yeah it's the chicken for me it's turkey bacon too for me and i like eggs like so although the veganism lifestyle did help me to figure out you know what i need to include more in my diet I had to go back to what I knew because it was what I 
yo, you got me. Like, I, I'm not mad at it, but um, overall, I'll just be open to exploring different lifestyles or dietary patterns. I know some people go keto. I never did that before, so I can give you advice on that. What else did I do? I also realized throughout my journey that I'm very sensitive to a lot of foods, okay? My body does not digest certain foods well. A lot of foods well. I can give you a list real quick, okay? So red meat, beef, um, fried, deep fried foods, it's a no for me, okay? Um, baked pork, I can barely eat it. Um, Dairy, of course, we're not really supposed to eat dairy anyway, so that is terrible for me, but in a different proportion. So it's like, if I eat it in moderation, I'll be okay. But if the, if the meal has dairy, is deep fried, and has pork in it, it's a dub for me. I will, it's a dub, literally. So a lot of my journey included really just deciding like, dang, okay, that size of pizza looks real good, but is it gonna be worth you know, having an upset stomach for the next three hours. Is it gonna be worth keeping me up at night, like, because I can't digest it properly? Like, and a lot of times it's not. So because of that, that just kind of enabled me to really choose a dietary lifestyle that worked and works for me. And that also enabled me along my uh, journey as a whole. So yeah, just make sure to listen to your body. Your body reacts to foods in ways and we ignore them a lot, but really listen to your body and understand and figure out what it likes and what it doesn't like. Your body will tell you, I promise you your body will tell you, you just have to listen and don't ignore. If you're eating something, you're getting bloated right after, it's probably not the best thing for you to consume. You know, so yeah, listen to your body 100% because um, that is probably like the best thing that I ever did for myself, listening to my body and trying different things as a result, okay? And thirdly, as a result of listening to my body, I decided to start juicing. My juicer is my best friend. It's the, probably the one appliance I have, I'm looking at my kitchen right now, it's probably the one appliance that I have in my kitchen that I love with all my heart and soul. It was the first appliance I bought because that's how much I love juicing. Like I love juicing with all my heart. It's the best way, in my opinion, to get all the nutrients you need in one cup, one sitting. I am not gonna sit down and eat four stalks of celery, two cucumbers, ju uh, you know, the juice of a lime, or a lemon and ginger. Like, I'm not gonna do that, like, respectfully. Like, I'm not gonna do that, it's not for me. So being able to juice everything um, is how I'm able to get all my nutrients in, in one sitting, and my body loves it. My body lives off of it. Like, my gut health just thrives off of these juices that I do. Um, I'm gonna include a clip of the juices that I make. It's usually like a green juice, like four or five ingredients, and it's amazing. I don't really change up the ingredients because this is what works for me, but yeah, invest in a juicer, I promise you, um, it'll it'll be very beneficial. Um, the one that I have is, it was pretty affordable, it was like $50. I actually had it, I got it from my mom for Mother's Day and I loved it so much that I got it for myself, but I'll link it below if I can find it. There are better juices out there for sure, so like I said, do your research, but this juicer works for me. I probably make this about once or once a week or once every other week, just depending if I'm home or not, because sometimes I'm not really, I travel, so it just depends. But if I drink this once in the morning every day, my, I, my gut health and my body just, like I'm able to just function so much more better. I'm able to digest things so much faster, like, yeah, so that's kind of what my journey was like overall. Just try to live a more active and intentional lifestyle. And just think about how the decisions that you make now will affect your future self, your older self, and your kids, and just things like that. Like, just prioritize yourself. You only have one body in this life. You understand? You only have one body. I don't know what they told you. I don't know what they told you. But you only have one body. So you gotta take care of it, okay? Take care of this body that you have. You were blessed with it. If you're able, like, if you're able to watch this video, you're blessed. You got me? The dietary and lifestyle habits that you have will not always be evident, but what will be evident all the time, 100% of the time, are the results, okay? And that's really what I experienced because I was not aware that my results were so evident. I really wasn't. I was kind of naive to all of it. But when people were really complimenting me, I was like, okay, man, I'm doing something, you know? So I wish that on everybody. I wish that everybody is able to, um, just really figure out what and how to be an active, intentional lifestyle means for them and to just take off with that. If you're watching this video, you're already interested, so I hope that um, in some way, somehow, this video is able to assist you. And yeah, you guys, that's basically it. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, if I missed anything, I'll leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about anything, please leave them down below. Um, you can DM me, whatever. My Instagram is at Danny Wefo. I'll link it on the screen and in the description. Um, yeah, you guys, I wanna be of as much help as possible. So that was my main goal in recording this video anyways, but if I forgot anything, I wanna make sure to be able to still discuss it. 
but I'm gonna mention it again. I'm not a professional. I'm just someone who decided to change their lifestyle. So please, you know, don't crucify me. Don't sue me. Don't take me to the cross, okay? I'm just trying to share my journey uh, with people. So yeah, like I said, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.